Alrighty, guys and gals, welcome back, everybody. This is the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. I'm Big E. Right up on the screen, this is set. This is our Worgen Warlock. Last episode, we made it here to Grey Main Manor, and I believe we have an audience with the Queen. I could be mistaken on that, but we're going to jump right back into it. Let's get it on. This Let's Play, it's uh, it's not going to be a very long Let's Play. The point of this Let's Play, in case you've not seen the first couple, uh, or the first episode, uh, we're just going to be exploring the entire Worgen starting zone here. We're going to, um, all of this, the Kingdom of Gilneas, all of it. Going to try to do all of the quests. One of my favorite areas, I think it's one of the most well-designed areas, starting zone-wise, that they've ever done. Anyway, who do we have here? This is Queen Mia Greymane. Let's check in. Can I be of service? Those earthquakes are a little brutal. Set, I've heard much about you. I understand you were crucial in my family's survival during the outbreak in Gilnea City. You ought to speak to Gen. He's been locked up in his observatory ever since this ordeal started. I'm sure he's working on a plan for his people. He's very stubborn. Speak to King Gen Greymane in the observatory inside of Greymane Manor. We will do this, but before we do that, we're going to take a look around here. She has a large audience. I love exploring. We're going to look at some artwork. We've seen this before. We have seen this picture quite a few times. I found some new paintings last episode. Um down in Duskhaven Village. Uh, this was one of them. It's a little bit brighter. Kind of cool. This was in Grandma's Shack. We've seen that. We have seen this one also. It's kind of dark and spooky and creepy. What do we got here? Oh, we just got people laid out on the floor. These people are injured. Who is this? That's not Leon. Uh, it's not the prince. It doesn't look like it's King Greymane. Who knows? A lot of people aren't into this, but uh, this is interesting. This looks like... Where where might this be? We've got a C here. This could be Tenaris. I don't know. It's a little bit mountainy. Is mountainy a word? I'm not sure. A lovely lady and a dapper-looking gentleman right here. All right, let's go. Let's get this on. More of the same. What is this? Have we seen this painting? I believe we have. It could be based some uh, on something in the game. I'm not sure. Let's use Dark Flight. Let's haul booty over here. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well. I surely do. I'm not doing too bad. This looks like Horde to me, if I've ever seen Horde. I was looking for an interesting thumbnail. Perhaps this might be the one. All right, let's go talk to the king. He's locked himself up in the observatory. Well, I don't know if he's locked himself up there. I'd probably hang out up here as well, honestly. This looks like a pretty cool place. There he is. What's up, my dude? You have my attention. Thank you. There you are, Set. I've been expecting you. I got word of your recovery and... Wait. Do you feel that? Yes, I've been feeling the earthquakes. Look, Set. Look at what's become of Duskhaven. Look at what's become of the last safe place in Gilneas. Let's have a look. It's flooded, yes. The coast has all but disappeared. Yes, we have some ships in the area. Let's zoom in on those. Okay. <laughs> our curse is also our greatest gift. I agree. 
Exodus, we have no choice set. We must move further inland. I don't like it one bit, but we're vulnerable here. Return to the stables below the manor. Let's get everyone on carriages and send them eastbound. I pray it's not too late. Board a carriage below Grey Main Manor. Stand strong, hero. Alrighty. Why we needed to come all the way up here for that. That's what he wants, though. I guess he's entrusting us to get everybody uh, loaded up here. Can we... That... Oh, boy. Oh, you can't actually... There's an invisible wall there. They don't want you to die. <laughs> Say, can we jump over that? I feel like we could have survived that fall, honestly. Anyway, we did hit level 10 last episode, and I believe we can learn the writing skill, and um, I want to learn the writing skill. There might be a cutscene here. But I need to do this. Our fates are intertwined. It's YouTuber stuff. I feel like there used to be a cutscene here where things break through this window. Okay, so I was going to get the writing skill. Well, I was going to check in Dusthaven, but what happened was I accepted a quest and it it was like an automated thing. It threw us onto a pony, and I can't, I can't actually leave here. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it's going to have to wait, unfortunately. Let's jump on. Should be an interesting ride. Who do we got? We've got Marie Allen. We've got a Dusthaven Watchman. And there's Lorna. This is Lorna Crowley. This is Crowley's daughter. This is the chemist, Aranus. This is Gwen. I don't know who this guy is in the middle. I can't seem to focus on him. Yeah, apparently her father died, and I somehow missed that. Unless I am uh, I'm reading it wrong, or I wasn't paying attention. Was it Darius Crowley? I can't remember the guy's name. I, I think he perished. So looks like we're going to roll down this way. Where is Dusthaven? I guess it's just... It was here. Yeah, it was just here. And now it's no longer a thing. We've got some ogres throwing boulders at us. Am I driving? I think I was driving here. All right. They just kicked me off. Uh, I'll see you guys there. <laughs> All right, let's check in with... Uh, oh, this is Prince Liam. Thanks for stopping, Set. Well, I was tossed off the carriage, brother. Our carriage got hit pretty bad. The one in front of us got it worse. That's level 11. A new ability. We have Mal Malphic Rapture. Your damaging periodic effects erupts on all targets, causing 12 shadow damage per effect. Interesting. It takes a soul shard... Uh, soul shards have become a thing, and I think that happened at level 10. So I'm not quite sure how to use this yet. I mean, right now, I just, I essentially have the dot, which is corruption. It lasts 14 seconds. Maybe if I apply corruption to multiple targets and then use this, it ruptures. Uh, the ogres got two of our stagecoaches. This one... And one that fell into the marsh just north of here. I want you to head there and rescue any survivors while we catch or while we hatch a plan to deal with the ogres. Alrighty, let's go help some people out. I've seen these bags several times, several locations. They look kind of cool, these striped bags here. Yeah, so um, once we learn the riding skill, we will pick a mount that is appropriate for us, but honestly I think I'm just going to be using Running Wild. That's probably the appropriate thing to use now that I'm thinking about it. That's what we're going to do. But I'm hoping um, once we get, well, wherever I think there's a village here. I'm pretty sure there's a village 
right up there. Um, we'll do that. Oh, we've got some people battling Crocs. Let's help them out. Let's see what this does here. It's a second and a half cast. Yeah, I don't fully understand that. I could be reading it wrong. Let's make up a health stone here. I might switch back to the imp. Because honestly, I'm not sure if the um in retail if if the damage is different. That's always been my understanding. Like the Fellhound is like one of the best DPS. Imps do damage. I think the Void Walker does low damage, it's just a taunt machine, but I could be wrong there. Also, how do I actually get... you Use to fuel your most powerful Warlock spells. How do I actually create... Am I missing an ability here that actually creates some of these... When did I get Agony? <laughs> oh, man. This is instant. I don't know how long we've had Agony, but we want Agony. And let's move this over a little bit here. This is an instant cast. So the way that I want this to work... This is over 18 seconds. This one lasts longer. I think I'm going to open up like this. This sometimes generates a soul shard. Okay, what else generates anything we have? I don't think it does. I don't think we have anything else that will generate. Okay, so no. Right now, it's just agony, so we definitely want to use that. Yes, you do. I'll get you closer, my friend. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch back to the imp for right now. Is it Pan Pan? I forget what the name of our imp is. We've got Grat Goth. Rup Pad. I knew it was something like that. Excuse me. Like this tall grass here, whatever this is. Kind of cool looking. Not sure if I've ever noticed that before. I probably have had the settings turned down. Kind of neat. For my people. You've done it again, Set. You have my thanks. The Forsaken are right on our heels, and now these ogres are trying to flank us. They're servants of the Etten Koroth, the meanest, most destructive force in all of Gilneas. If we can bait Koroth into charging the Forsaken's forward force, we should be able to cover our retreat and buy some time. The only way this can work is if we make Koroth furious. It won't be enough to just kill his minions. We need to swipe his most prized possession, a tiger-skinned banner. Alrighty. So he wants us to kill four minions anyway, and then swipe the banner. Let's do it. Now this is where I might actually want the... Uh, the Void Walker back. We'll see how we do here. It seems okay for now. It is interesting, though, that the, um, the Imp can... He is able to pull threat off of us when one of his, uh, fireballs hits. We'll see him switch every once in a while. Yeah, we're fine here.
And I could open up with Agony in this instant. The thing is, the reason I'm not doing that is because if I open up with it, he immediately comes, right? And he starts charging down. This is a two-second cast. Um, so if I put this on him first, I have Corruption on him. This goes instant, and then I can also potentially get a Shadow Bolt off before he even gets uh, in range of us. Got a little bit of... Oh, my God. I'm rendering a video in the background. It's actually almost done. It just finished. Okay. Should be better. It just finished up. Hopefully, it wasn't too bad right there. There is the banner. I see it sparkling up there. So I'm pretty sure he's going to chase us. It's a level 10 elite. Taking your banner, bro. Now he's hella slow. I kind of forget what happens here. I think he'll just chase us all the way down. Let's avoid this ogre. Oh, these guys have already popped back up. We use our all uh, our our hall booty ability. Should be a big cutscene here. He's really slow, but I kind of want to see him come down the mountain here. It takes him a while. Well, let's just turn it in, I suppose. How did it go, Set? It went well. You definitely got the yet and angry. I heard him myself. Let's hope this works. Just in time, friend. Here come the Forsaken. You will come no further, Forsaken scum. By the war banner of our ancient Greymane clan, I expel you from our ancestral lands. No, it's Captain Archer. Aster. Here he is right here. Here's the uh here's the brute. What's gonna happen here? He's got a goat tied to his back. I've never noticed this before. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? All my people. Our carriage drivers were told to regroup in the fishing town of Storm Glen. Our scouts report there might be shelter and supplies to be found there. Meet Gwen in Storm Glen. All righty. All right, we'll, uh, we'll see you later. For Gilneas. All right. Well, let's roll a Storm Glen and hopefully, Storm Glen even, and hopefully there is a trainer there. We can get moving. Forgot he does a little uh he does a little jump every once in a while. And it was right here that I muted my microphone on accident. So this is a voiceover. <laughs> I don't think I've realized what I've done here for ten or fifteen minutes. So when I was taking that screenshot, I accidentally hit the hot key that mutes my microphone. It's right beside my print screen. I've never <laughs> I've never hit it before, but I managed to do it this time. That's just how good I am. So we're just going to kind of narrate here as we go. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm, at this point, I'm looking for a riding trainer because we did hit level 10. Uh, and then we were kind of swept away from Duskhaven and I wasn't able to see, to find a trainer. So... Right now, I'm trying to track one to see if we, if there's one. If there's not one in this village, unfortunately. 
So I'm actually watching the video in DaVinci Resolve while I was editing it. Uh, and I'm just doing a voiceover as I'm watching it. And then I'll just going to splice it in. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'm going to have to move that key again. I thought I had it far enough away where it wasn't an issue. But I actually don't realize that I've muted my microphone until I do another, I get it, I try to get another thumbnail. So I'm checking with the stable master thinking maybe this guy has, can teach me writing, but no. So we're just clearing our bags out here. Who knows what I'm rambling about. Anyway, <laughs> it is the same day that I recorded this video. It's just, uh, it's now like 8 p.m. And I recorded this video, I guess around 4.30 p.m. or something. I ordered myself a pizza again. It's the second time I've had pizza in like two and a half weeks. <laughs> Not the best for you. So I'm just reading the quest here and I can't actually see the quest on the screen. This print's too small. Uh, we have to kill spiders. Let me see if I can make this bigger so I can actually read these quests. I'll try my best. I'll read the objectives. Yeah, we have to kill six vile blood skitterers. And Storm uh, Gwen for uh, Storm your, Glenn for the uh, the mayor here. That's Gwen Armstead right there. We change our Hearthstone. We pick up another quest from Lorna, I do believe. Now, what I'm saying here is I just changed my Hearthstone to Storm Glen, and last when I've done this area before, and I've you can actually hearth. Your Hearthstone will still be Dusk, Dusk Haven, but it takes you back to the um, where the caravan was that we got knocked off and had to deal with the giant Etten. It's interestingly enough. So right here, we need to uh, collect six page journals for Lorna. She's trying to piece together what happened to this place. And she found this journal, a partial journal... Uh, I think beside a corpse. Uh, the guy may be alive. I'm not. I'm not 100. percent So we're just having a look around, doing a little exploring, checking in with some people. We check in with Lauren the fence. I'm not sure what's going on with her. It's, she says, "I swear it wasn't my fault." Why are you looking at me like that? She's guilty of something apparently, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a class specific thing. It could be nothing. It could be like uh, just something Blizzard did. Maybe a reference to an employee. It's like an inside joke. I'm not sure. But she was also in uh, where we started as well. There's uh, Vitrus or Vitus. That's our warlock trainer. We're going to check out some paintings and stuff in here, I think. Da -da 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 -da. I don't really know what that is. I think it's a mirror. Maybe it's supposed to be a mirror. I'm not sure. Got some weary mastiffs hanging out. Mm -hmm. Can't believe I muted the mic and didn't realize it for this damn long. What I probably need to try to find is see if there's maybe an add-on or something I can use with OBS where it will show just a very small icon green or red green is go red the microphone's muted it's probably what i need somebody like me who's constantly messing up <laughs> anyway we're gonna throw it out on some spiders we open up with uh agony the curse of or corruption then agony there's another player some of these players we see were with us in the first episode as well uh-huh, uh-huh. Big giant spiders. Not a fan. Not a fan of any spiders, honestly. Some have gotten into the house. Been pretty good. Um, no creepy crawlies in here. When I first moved in, I had kind of a slight problem. Because this portion of the house that I live in used to be, I'm pretty sure, a sunroom. And it was converted into like a small apartment. So like the floor, it's kind of like a porch, essentially. I don't know what I'm really trying to say there, but I don't know. I'm not sure about the foundation underneath here, but I do 
starting to get some spiders in the house. Very small ones, so they're, you know, baby spiders. But uh, I'm not letting them grow up into full-size spiders in my house. No, thank you. No other bugs, though. And there's just, there's very few of them. I've seen just a couple last couple of days. I don't leave food out or anything. I keep swept up, keep crumbs off the counter, everything wiped down, floor swept, that kind of thing. Checking out the room here. Just having a look around. Looks like we finished up the journal pages and we just need to slay uh, I have uh, like two more spiders. We get double attacked here. One comes up behind me. I popped unending resolve. I think that's the shield that you see around us there. So one of the things I started, what I used to do when I first started this channel, I was constantly looking over onto the screen on the right. You'll see me look over there occasionally. Just constantly checking because I was messing up so much. I don't do it as much these days just because I'm a little bit more confident. Unless I'm like I hit a key on the keyboard and it feels wrong, then I'll definitely look over to make sure I didn't fat finger something, which I've done quite often. <laughs> but I just didn't look. I just sometimes I get caught up in the game and hey, what's going yeah, down. So she gives us a follow up here. It says the spiders keep coming. I can't really, it's too too small, but she wants us to kill the brood mother, which is Ragna or Regina. I don't know how you say that. So we get a quest to go take her out. And I think I make a joke about it, it probably would have been handy to do this just first, but we get some nice upgraded pants. Enough some britches. Make it quick. Make it quick. Give her the journal. This is Darius Crowley's daughter, Lorna. Checking out the upstairs. Little priest trainer here. Well, just a dude laying in bed with his boots on and his top hat on, as one would for overall comfort. And I'm trying to figure out what this is. So this looks like a cross between a fox and like a warthog because of the tusks. I don't know. Very strange to me. What, whatever that might be. So we head down the road. Kind of head out to the north here. I guess you could say up the road. Depending on your perspective. I'm untracking Stable Master now that I realize he doesn't do riding training, and I didn't think he did. Let's just take it a shot. I don't know where the riding trainer is going to be. I don't know if we can actually get riding. Uh, we might have to actually leave the Gilnea starting zone. This is where I realize I have unmuted the mic, so I'm going to fade. We're going to go back to regular voiceover. This, I'm just realizing it. How long have I been muted? How long has my fucking microphone been muted? A long time? <laughs> I just happened to look down and saw that is my hotkey for my microphone. Hopefully I did a voiceover. I probably just finished doing a voiceover for that part. I'm so sorry. Scroll lock is way far out of the way. I don't know how. I probably, it's right beside the print screen button. That's how I managed to hit it. Hopefully I just did it. Hopefully I just hit it and just noticed. That's what I'm hoping. Got down there, some spookies and some scaries. the edge of the road. Oh, no, it's not. It just gets covered. Oh, uh, we are not going in the right area. Great. It's just following the road. We need to head up. There she is. The Blackwold. 
reminds me, when I say black walled, it reminds me of the Dickens novel Bleak House. Chesney Wold. It's one of my favorite Dickens books, Bleak House. One of my favorite stories. Not his most popular, but I love it. Thought it was great. If you ever want to see a great series, it I don't know where you can find it anymore. It's called Bleak House by Charles Dickens. There's been many versions of it. They've made into, um, you know, like mini episodes, mini movie or whatever you want to call it. Good grief, that scared me. Um, look up the one that has uh, Gillian Anderson in it. It's so good, man. It has Charles Dance in it. It's got a bunch of really amazing character actors in it. I've seen it. I've seen it at least twice. I've watched it. It's wonderful. We're going to hit level 12 here. Might maybe after this kill. Not quite. Definitely after the uh after we turn in our quest here, we're going to heal our little friend up. Never going to remember his name. Rup Pad. Can I jump this wall? I bet not. Of course not. What we can do is aggro a spider. We can do that. We can aggro two. Can we aggro three is the question. Yes. Make it four. <laughs> there we are. There we are. Yes. Any friend of Greymane is a friend of mine. I say we're probably we're pretty friendly at this point, Gwen. Great job, Set. We've heard rumors of survivors further into the mountains. Now we we'll, we will be able to send scouts. Farewell. There's level twelve. I'm gonna chuck these pants on. I'm gonna look for abilities that pop up. We have curse of curse of exhaustion. Reduces the tar target's movement speed by 50% for 12 seconds. That seems like that might potentially be handy. I'm going to try to remember where some of this stuff is. Looks like Lorna has a follow-up or a different what quest. It? it took a while, but I think I've put together what happened here, at least partially. There were survivors of the curse in this town. They joined others in the mountains in Tempest Reach. Everyone left except the man who kept the journal, Old Man Bradshaw. He noticed that the Worgen attacks had stopped all of a sudden and decided to venture into the Blackwold. There's an abandoned mill just northeast of town. It was there. It was where Bla uh, Bradshaw lived. See if you can find any clues there. Okay. Let's sell a few things. You got fine taste, I can tell. I do have fine taste. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheerio. Cheerio. Good day to you. Righto. Right you are. I think we will meet a dark ranger here. If memory serves. We will meet Priestess of the Moon here, is who we will meet. I've been expecting you, Set. Do not be alarmed. My name is Belisra. Belisra. I am a Priestess of the Moon, a Night Elf. You might know my people, but the destinies of our two races have been linked since the curse befell you. Really? This is some lore I'm picking up here. You must have many questions, Set. Don't point at me like that. I know why you're here and what you're looking for. I can't lead you there with the enemy tracking you. One of Sylvanas' scouts has been following your tracks. You can't lead the Forsaken to the place you seek. Take the talisman and walk along the road just north of here. Let the ranger lure you to her trap and then use the power of the talisman to break free and counterattack. Alrighty, we will get a uh, nice upgraded... 
robe to wear here. All right, let's do this. Let's just put it in RP mode here. Okay, that that did not work. That did not work. I used it <laughs> and it did not work. I need to target something first. I wonder why that didn't work. I wonder if I clicked it too soon. Okay, well, the same outcome. That's what I get for trying to RP something. <laughs> Let's see our little friend up here. He did some work right there for us. Yeah, well done, Set. The scout never had a chance. There are others like you, Set, and they too were lost and confused. This is a place where you belong. Tal Duren, the Wild Home, was once home to an order of druids who took the shape of wolves. It is there you will find the answers you seek. It is also there that you will find someone... <coughs> excuse me. ...who can offer guidance as an old friend. Uh, speak to Darius Crowley. Darius is not dead. Darius is alive. So Lorna will be happy to hear this. This is her father. So druids took shape as worgen. Interesting. This is a very cool looking little tree here or big tree I I should say. Yeah, these are our people. Got a food vendor here. Benjamin Skies. You know what I'm going to be looking for? I'm going to be looking for a riding trainer. I don't think we're going to find one in here. We could, but I doubt it. What do we have in here? I think we've got some pretty important bros in here. We've got Talrin of the Wild. We've got Vassandra, Stormclaw. Lyro Swiftwind, and then we have Lord Darius Crowley himself. Look at this beast. This is the dude, man. We will prevail. You're all right, Set. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. It truly is great to see you, friend. I've heard of what you've done, and I'm thankful, especially for Lorna. She's all I have left. I will send for her right away. The Night Elves have taught us much during this time set. They've taught us who we are and where we come from. Thanks to them, thanks to this place, we're no longer mere beasts. We have regained free will. The Forsaken aren't here for our land alone. They're looking for something we possess. An artifact capable of uncontrollably spreading the curse to all humanity. We cannot let them find it. Sylvanas' Banshees have come very close. Help my trackers take them out. Kill six of them. Alrighty. We have a few more quests. Let's pick them up from Stormclaw. What do you need? Uh, what you know is the curse began as a hearsay among our brethren. Let me try that sentence again. What you know is the curse began as a, uh, a hearsay among our brethren. I feel like there needs to be a comma there. Faced with a losing battle against demonic forces, the druids of the pack... Um, Eschewed? Eschewed. I feel like an idiot. What is this word? Eschewed? I don't know what it is. The balance they were sworn to and allowed the beast to overtake them. I feel like it's eschewed. Uh, they were banished to the Emerald Dream, where they live in eternal slumber, under a tree identical to this one, but not before their curse spread to the others. Today our ceremony will restore balance to your people. Bring the leaf that grows only in Taldoran's vicinity. Bring six of them. A loon be with you. A loon be with you. 
All right, let's do this. Six moon leaves and six banshees. Looks like silver leaf, doesn't it? I say that is silver leaf, Blizzard. A little bit lazy. I feel like this should have been some really cool looking thing. Not silver leaf. <laughs> So I think the Imp works really well with us against ranged mobs. Really well. We got a fox over here. And a skunk. I think I'm taking this off the bar. Um, it's probably really good for multiple mobs. I don't know if I've ever used that ability before. It's been a while since I've played Warlock uh, in retail, so... These mobs look uh, like the mobs that, that are in... The dungeon that we ran on Susie. Is it Dusk Haven? What is it? It's something manor. I can't remember what it's called, actually. I like the, the dungeon a lot, though. I think it's Ravenholt Manor, maybe. Perhaps. All right, let's get our last Banshee here. Well, not our last Banshee. We we need three more. I like how our Shadow Bolts, they take a slight arc uh, as they go to the target. Kind of neat. There's a slight arc, and they go from either side. They go left or right. Kind of neat. Some would argue that it's kind of neat. <laughs> this house up here, I believe... Well, I think these used to be elite mobs up here. They don't appear to be elite mobs anymore. Doesn't mean that they're not tough. Uh, I, I definitely will say that. I really wish we uh, had not got on the auto mount there in Duskhaven. So we could be using uh, Running Wild here. Oh, didn't even put... We need to equip this right away. Wow, check us out. We look like a priest. For sure. And our holy white robes and our yellow cape. Cloak, even. Alright. Let's speak with Stormclaw first. How may I help? You've returned, Set. Yes, I'm standing in front of you. These simple leaves grow by Elune's grace. They will help your mind understand the need for balance and your soul... And your soul will permanently earn mastery over the beast. What kind of... What kind of leaves are these? Nature will provide. That's an unusual female druid voice. Or, um... Night elf voice, I should say. We do what we must. You are a good... You are as good as I remember, Set. It is good to have you back. Ever since the Forsaken invaded Gilneas, we've tried to keep the location of the Scythe of the Elune secret. Hello there. Oh, this is Tobias, Miss Mantle. This guy just rolled up out of nowhere. Uh, they were last spotted at the Woods End Cabin, west of here. Blow this horn when you find them, and Tobias and his trackers will engage the Dark Rangers. Okay, we're with this guy. 
Only then will it be safe for you to venture inside the cabin and take back the scythe. Hurry. All right, let's do this. I love these little red... I don't know what these are. Very cool looking. So we're going to cause a distraction here. Tobias's men will attack, which will give us an opening to run into the house. Hopefully unnoticed. We need to clear a little path here. It's nice as this Curse of Exhaustion, which slows the target's movement speed by 50%, is instant. If we get into a really bad spot, we might be able to chuck this on a few pursuing mobs and get out of here. Or get out. So let's see what happens here. Here they come. Let's wait till they're engaged here. Is that him? There's Tobias. Uh, we do have a mob on us here. gonna fear her off all right let us get out of here because these things will wreck I I do remember that well we don't actually get much time do we that was just like just in the nick of time are we being pursued <laughs> I think we're okay all right yeah we're fine now Looks like I lost, uh, we lost our imp. Rup pad. We'll get him back out. We might actually get a visit from... Is it Malfurion? I think we get a visit from some pretty important... Yuckety yucks. Do you have the scythe? Yes, I do. I knew we could count on you. You've done well, Set. It is time. This alchemy has kept the beast inside you. At bay, will not last for long. Good reading. The first cursed worgen were night elf druids like our new allies. I did not know this. They, however, abandoned the balance that the rest of their kind embraced and allowed the beast to take over their mind. It is only fitting that their brethren be the ones that deliver us from the curse. Go, Warlock. Drink from the waters of Tal'Duran and make peace with yourself. And we will earn... Look at this nice 12-int staff. Yes. That is pretty huge. All right. Let's eat, drink, and be merry here. Very nice. Who we got here? That's a player. Hello. Greetings. How are you? We do what we must. It is done, Set. You are one of us now. Give me that giant upgrade. Oh, here's the reunion. There's Lorna. Here he comes. Oh, that's King Greymane. This is Lord Godfrey. Crowley, you and your elven allies are hereby ordered to serve along the king's army. Cursed or not, you are still bound by Gilnean. Does this toad speak for you, Gan? You come to our dwelling as a friend, or do you come as a tyrant? No, no friend. Look at this. I come to you as an equal. Look at this. Gan, pop and form. Possible. I, Gan. It is not law that binds us. It is something far stronger. My men are ready to give their lives under your command. It is decided, then. We will unite all Gilneans and drive the Forsaken from our lands. Is that it? Okay. We will prevent It'll be a long time before our nation comes together again. The old political divisions pale in comparison to what divides us now. 
Yet, if there was ever a time for us to come together and unite against a common enemy, it is now. And it is you, Set, who have proven able to bridge the gap between our people. Return to Storm Glen and tell them that it is safe to go through Blackwald. All right, tie into Tempest Reach. Don't waste my time. Maybe don't waste your time. We got an upgrade here. Two forms. This is kind of cool. I like the, uh, I like this two forms things here. What does the staff look like? Does that have a... Oh, it's a skull with roses? That is pretty badass, man. So what do we get here? Unstable Affliction. Afflicts one target with 141 shadow damage over 16 seconds. If dispelled, it deals 355 damage to the dispeller and silence them. So this is actually kind of a benefit if it gets dispelled. But we do want this up. So this is uh, more dots for us. 14 seconds, 16 seconds, 18 seconds. I'm going to keep it like this. Is that a Vulpira? Oh, that's a hunter. <laughs> it's a hunter and her pet. Okay. All right, we're heading back to Storm Glen. We can harf there, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we can. Did we? Let me make sure I didn't get any other abilities. That's not on the bar, and I, I don't have it on the bar on purpose. Okay. Well, before we do that, I need to do this. I had to. Because that is the coolest thing ever, in my opinion. I like how he hearths. He kind of like does this. He kind of has this move that he does. I got a bad feeling. King Greymane gives me a brief rundown, or gave me a brief rundown of the plan before he set off for the Blackwald. Does it make... <laughs> doesn't make it sound any less crazy. Uh, I will do as Darius asks and have our people move through the Blackwald. You ought to catch up with King Greymane. He and Krennan went into Tempest Reach after Godfrey confirmed survivors and made their dwelling there. Follow the road out of Storm Glen into the mountains. I ask Krennan to wait for you at the bridge before Tempest Reach. Alrighty. Good day. Good day to you. I guess we're all done here. Let's see where we're heading here. Oh, we're heading just up the road here. Let's go. Farewell, people of Storm Glen. Fare you well. We're just going to... I'm going to see if I can just outrun the spiders here. This is actually a good test of this curse. Of course, if we're stunned, I can just throw this on everybody. This is not good. We do have a... We're going to pop a... Boy, that... The health stone did literally nothing. But look how effective this curse is. Curse of, exa curse of exhaustion. Very nice. All right. <laughs> Seem to have lost our companion again. I guess that happens when I hearthed. What a gorgeous area. Like, seriously, this just... The creepiness. Is this, um... This is Aranus. Ah, we live another day. Gen. They take taken Gen. They've taken our king. What? King Greymane has been taken prisoner by Lord Godfrey in Tempest Reach. Interesting. He managed to convince two of the Eastern Lords to go with his plan. The fool seems to think he can strike a deal with the Forsaken by turning Greymane over to them. Listen carefully, Set. We need to resolve this with as little bloodshed as possible. The, this potion will allow you to sneak undetected. We need you to assassinate the traitorous Lords before this gets out of hand. I knew Godfrey was a douche. Look at this. We get a pimp hat. And we're going to be wearing that pimp hat. But we are going to call it here. This is a good place to wrap it up. We will put our pimp hat on next. Well, after we complete this quest. 
So yeah, Godfrey found out that that uh, again was a worgen, took him prisoner. Now he wants to sell him, wants to turn him over to the Forsaken. We will not let it happen. Anyway, we are going to wrap it up here. Thanks very much for hanging out with me for a little bit. I'm enjoying this Let's Play greatly. Hope you are too. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful night. Set and I will catch you in a future episode. Farewell. Farewell. Take care and peace. <laughs>